Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Murdich Minnow. This fly was created by Bill Murdich, uh, originally as a striper fly, but any predator fish that chases minnows will eat this. It's a great fly for smallmouth bass fish just below the surface of the water. Here's the fly in the vise. The hook we're going to use today is a TMC 5263 uh, on a size 6. That's a 3-extra long streamer hook. And our thread is going to be Vivas GSP 100 in white. We'll get our thread started just behind the hook eye, wrap back to the hook bend. And our first material we're going to tie in is just going to be some deer hair, bucktail in white. This is there to support the flash material of the tail. So we don't need a lot of it, don't even need to stack it. In fact, if you don't stack it, it gives you more of a tapered appearance. So we want this to be about a hook shank and a half, I guess, in length. And tie that in right on top. And the materials are going to be used for the tail are really slippery, so to help hold everything together we're going to use just a little bit of Zappa Gap. And it'll also make the fly just that much more durable. And our first flash material is going to be some Flashaboo in the color Pearl. I'm going to take oh, a dozen or so and we're going to tie this in on top just a little bit longer than what the bucktail is. And again, a little bit of Zappa Gap. We'll fold that material back on itself. And cut the excess off, even with the beginning of it. That looks good. Get our thread back to the base of the tail and our next material, some silver flashaboo. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tie that in right on top. Just a tad longer than what the pearl was. And again, just a touch of super glue. Cut that material off even with the other. Next we're going to tie in a skirt. Next material is going to be some EP fiber in the color white. This is going to form a skirt on either side of the tail. So we'll snip a piece off. And we're going to make this skirt about a hooked gap in width longer than the hook. So right about there. Tie that in on the side. And one more on the other side. There, get rid of some of this. All of this is going to be hidden by the Estes body, so you don't have to be too careful. Okay, some more flash in the fly. This is going to be some more silver marabou. 
or flashaboo. And we don't need all of this, so we'll save some for another fly. Now we want this to be oh a little bit longer than what the skirt is. Tie this in on top. A couple of wraps. Fold the remainder of the material back over the top of it. And cut it off even with the other material. Next for the body of the fly, we're going to use some medium Estaz in the color Pearl. And we'll pull some of the material away to expose the core. Give us a better tie-in point. And wrap forward to the eye. Put a whip in just to save our work. We're going to use the rotary function of the vise to form the body. Give a good tight pull the first time around. get up close to the eye we're going to go back over the estaz about halfway down the hook shank to fill things in and give us a fuller body and a little bit of taper to the body and tie it off just behind the eye Cut off our excess. And do a four or five turn whip finish. Seat the knot. Cut the thread. Now a little coloring. I've got a Copic marker here in the color gray. And we're going to color the back of this fly. A lot of the bait fish, the top of the fly tends to be dark colored and the bottom really light. That looks good. Now to make room for the eyes, we're going to cut away some of this material on either side of the head so that the eyes lay flat. And the eyes are your skull living eyes, size 7, and the color is ice. We'll peel a couple of those off. And for glue, we're going to use some Loctite super glue. This is their gel version. Just a dab. Okay, and now the other one. I'm going to stick my head in front of the camera here so they can see if the eyes are straight. And just give it a squeeze and hold on to it. Okay, a little head cement. Now 
and our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.